We're here at the vault and uh, Carlos and I, Car the great Carlos Cicada here, we're, we just finished a, a private one day intensive and our intensives are private, they are exclusive. And uh, we are teachers and trainers and we have companies, clients coming to us from all over the world to help them upscale their advice so they can command maximum fees and royalties for high price programs and services. So I want to introduce the great Carlos Cicada to you. Carlos has been referred to by Tony Robbins himself as the Tony Robbins of Latin America. In fact, uh, if when you meet uh, Carlos and you understand what Tony was saying in the context, if there is one person that's going to challenge Tony today for supremacy, it's Carlos Cicada. And we're really excited here just to bounce a few uh, recommendations to you after a, a long, grueling day of working with uh, uh, billionaires, uh, leaders in, in entrepreneurship. We're at the vault here in San Francisco and uh, so much stuff going on, but we're really excited here, Carlos, uh, <laughs> to, to be talking uh, to, to everybody here uh, that's watching this uh, in an exclusive fashion, so we don't mass market what we're covering. That's why we're doing it in the vault. I'm just so grateful, man. I love to be around legends, around amazing people. I call them movers and shakers of the world. And I'm, I am have the great pleasure to be with Glenn Dizzo. He's known as the professor, you know what I mean, of the highest paid coaches, consultants, and speakers worldwide. We do a lot of NDAs and non-disclosure agreements with many companies, billionaires, and big corporations that we help put systems in place and help take to the next level. And over here, my genius partner, Professor, man, we're just having a great time in San Francisco, and all the billionaires and the venture capitalists, startup companies, coaches and consultants that they came uh, to be around us for this past couple of days. And we just want to have a conversation here with you guys because we are all about giving back. We are all about raising the standard in the coaching industry, the speaking industry, the consulting industry. Now we even have you know, celebrities and people in the film industry, in the music industry, coming to us for help to put systems in place so that they can shift. They can go from a goals approach into a systems approach. Because we don't want to help people build businesses. We focus on building legacies. Just think about that for a minute, right? Most consultants out there, they want to help you build a business. And what happened, most businesses, they fall, they fail, you know what I mean, after a couple of years, out of business. But when you focus in on becoming it, the number one at what you do, when you focus on building legacies, now you're talking about disrupting industries. Now you're talking about going to hyper within a niche of a niche and dominate. Because you rather compare yourself to others or you have others compare themselves to you. And that way we're going to have a conversation over here and share some of our principles because we are a firm believer of giving your best. Talk about the things that we do to make money, about the things that we do to help others and showcase it and raise the standard in some of the industries out there. Yeah, absolutely, Carlos. Uh, you know, we've been privileged to be uh, in this industry of high-end coaching, consulting and training now for around 18 years, about 18,000 hours spent in the trenches helping companies, clients, uh, startups, uh, people that are mom and dads, uh, like Carlos and I, we're dads, uh, and uh, just that really want to start and start fast because we're all about speed to market. So one of our speed to market principles is sure, Carlos, as you know, we get this feedback uh, all the time is uh, they get people get this and uh, you're going to want to write this down. It's not the big that eats the small anymore, it's but the fastest that consumes <laughs> this low. Hold up. Just think about this for one more time. Say it again, <laughs> professor. It's not the big that eats the small anymore. It's the fastest that consumes this low. Anybody, anyone. Right now, big corporations, you know what I mean? Big gurus out there and experts, you know what I mean? They are worried. Because now somebody brand new, you can exit your nine to five and you can come in and learn how to put your message together. You can come in and you learn the things that we teach, you know, thousands of people around the world, as we call, put a message to market match. You know what I mean? Think about that. Where do you create such a powerful message that's going to attract more clients to you, that's going to attract people to come into being in your world, whether you want to start doing events or put masterminds together or you want to attract uh, you know, high ticket clients. We show you how to put the message in place. We show you how to put the contracts in place. We show you how to put your keynote, your TEDx, and all those elements. It's literally 
to doing the things that we are doing now to earn money, to make money, to help our clients. And we teach that stuff. We're not selling air or talking about the fluff. You know what I mean? Because that's how you separate yourself from the pack. You know what I mean? So very, very important that you guys take lots of notes. That Glenn and I would go back and forth over here having some fun with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, clients uh, spend a lot of money. They invest a lot of money to work with us. And um, so many people come to us because they want to know how to package their advice in a way that truly creates Carlos, this positioning for them. And so they're not desperate and they never act desperate. In fact, in order to get your ideal clients to want to come to you, and as Carlos mentioned, creating what we call a perfect message to market match. We truly believe that you can, with the right data mining, create that perfect message to market match. So one of the recommendations that I would uh, recommend that you do right now is take a piece of paper um, and I want you to divide it into three, uh, just draw three lines down, uh, down that sheet of paper. And I want you to write at the top left hand corner product data because there's three types of data that you want to understand how to put together. And um, as I walk you through just right now, just to start getting you to think a lot more strategically, remember Carlos and I uh, have shared with you uh, previously the importance of asking better questions. When you ask better questions, better questions that allow you to start strategically positioning your advice, it really allows you to uh, control markets today and allows you to upscale your advice a lot faster. It's using the Socratic method, but using the Socratic method with a purpose. So if you start looking at the only three types of data that uh, exist for a company, and Carlos, so many of our uh, uh, really wealthy clients that are hedge fund managers, financial, in the financial planning industry, they'll always say to me, Glenn, <coughs> Carlos, the most important data is financial data. And we'll always say, no, that's output data. We want to focus on the data for your company, the input data that's going to allow you to increase your financial power. So as we say, you want to focus on your input in order to maximize your output. So product data, most business owners, most coaches, consultants, trainers, anybody that's in business, whether in startup mode or seasoned entrepreneurs, always want to focus on their product data. But the product data is literally the least important data. And we're not saying it's not important, it's the least important. Why? Because problem data is so much more important. So as you write down your product data and you start analyzing the product you're bringing to the market, the methodologies, the process, the system, I want you to understand that problem data is so much more important data. But, uh, Carlos, problem data, you want to build a better problem before you build a better mousetrap. So I want you to think about the problem. Think about the problem in ways that you are potential candidates aren't thinking about the problem. Make it a lot bigger. And uh, definitely from what your competitors are teaching, you are potential candidates, but more importantly, how your ideal clients see the problem. So you've got to expand the problem. But even more important than problem data, in the final column, the right-hand side of your page, I want you to write down marketing feedback data. You've always got to start with marketing feedback data. And Carlos and I want to help you get a lot clearer on the data that your company is collating so that you can start understanding how to create a perfect message to market match. So the data that you want to start, and we'll give you a couple of questions, a couple of multi-million dollar questions right now. So you can start uh, data mining for your own company and building what we call a perfect message to market match. So one of the questions that you want to ask yourself right now, you want to ask your ideal clients or your clients that have invested with you, where in the educational process, in their heart of hearts, did they decide that they wanted to move forward with you? You've got to know that data. There's not one client, Carlos, that we've worked with over the last 18 years that's ever thought of that question, let alone even answered that question. So we want you to get clear where in the educational process did your clients move forward with you? You want to ask them that. You've got to get them thinking through so you can detect and you can know exactly where that emotional connection is happening. And also you want to find the two or three biggest aha moments that your clients have had going through working with you or your educational process so you know what data to start using where you know you're really connecting with that audience. Because remember, your audience buys for their reasons, 
not for your reasons. They buy for their reasons. So get a lot more strategic on the questions, the data that you're asking yourself so that you can start generating the IP, the advice, the intellectual property, the advice, and understanding how to begin to package it, present it, so you can profit from it maximally. It's so powerful, guys. And what, ninja, uh, what uh, Glenn is actually talking about here, this is some ninja stuff, right? Because as you guys collect this data, now you'll be able, you don't have to, ex exp you know, most people, they spend so much money on copy, on webinars, on funnels. And they Convoluted never... business funnels. Correct. How oh. many experts are teaching this today? You got to have side sales, up sales, down sales, hire out high price copywriters. It's what we are about to talk about over here, guys. This is like real stuff. Like we are about to end the fluff in the industry. You need to start with the end result in mind. And with the, what we, Glenn is asking you guys over here to do for this homework, to go out there and collect this data. The words that are coming from your client's mouth, this type of data, you can use that in your message, in your marketing, when you go in your lives, when you go on social media, when you go into events, when you go into meetups, when you are speaking on stage, because now you are using what your clients are telling you. There are hard moments. When did they start it in the process? When did they make that movement to start working with you? This is ninja advice that most people, they don't go there. And we want you guys to start collecting this over and over and over again. And start putting that in your funnels, in your webinars, in your message, in your communications, in your conversations. Because most people, the, the gurus, the experts, they don't want to teach you all their secrets because they hold back. Glenn and I, we are about exposing all their secrets so that you can go out there and you can succeed. I want you to earn thousands of dollars this week, right now, by going out there, collecting this data, implementing those strategies, and test it out. And then, you know, write it to me on social media, you know, how did it work? Because we have, been, we have helped thousands of people do the same exact thing. They go out there, they collect those data, and then they go out there and they go to events. They go to, we teach them off -side, um, offline strategies, online strategies, that they are able to use this data in such a, I call the Navy SEAL stealth mode way, that's gonna co generate massive results, accelerated, you know, bigger money to come in, so that you don't have to focus on low ticket stuff, on a book, or a membership site, or a course, or a product. You start with your highest product, in mind, your 101, your time should be valuable so that you can teach them what are you doing right now to make money in your business? How are you generating other people's results? And you'll be able to charge a, such a high amount of money because now you have one-on-one -on -one time with them. And you take them to your masterminds, to your retreats, to your intensives, and you get everybody there together. And just like Glenn and I, we are doing, and we showcase to them exactly what we do or thousands and thousands of systems that we've been putting together over the last 18 years, 18,000 hours of intellectual property that we have in our client side. There are clients, as they come in, we're giving them their password, they log in, and it's just so much. And we walk them over. What to do, just like we are doing, very, very one-on-one, -on -one, done for you, done with you, like stealth Navy SEAL mode. Just very, very powerful work Glenn is sharing here with you guys right now. I want you guys to really take your time to write this thing down and do this homework. You guys are gonna see how much it's gonna change your business as you guys are collecting some of this data. Million dollar st strategies here. Right, so when it comes to really uh, upscaling your advice and increasing your financial power, you wanna start taking data, and we've got a whole system and process that we work our clients through, but we obviously don't have enough time to, to teach all of this, and this is why clients are flying from all over the world and in secret locations like this, and uh, gives us a chance to really work with them because we are teachers. Uh, by training, by passion, and our goal is to assist our clients to invert the business funnel. So I want you to write that down. What are you doing right now to invert your business funnel? What are you doing right now in order to package your advice so that you're not being held hostage to uh, your financial power? You see, when you're doing everything that your competitors are doing, or you're doing anything that's remotely close to what your competitors are doing, you're anchoring them, you're not anchoring yourself, which means you're giving away your power, which means you are becoming irrelevant, which means that people and entrepreneurs, business owners then fall victim to feeling like they, they're they giving away their advice or they're, they just, they're, they're feeling really frustrated because they're, at the end of the day, they're, they're being treated as a commodity. And when you're being treated as a commodity, it's a worse place to be if you want to be an influencer, if you want to be a trusted advisor, if you want to have a $10,000, $100,000, $1,000,000 plus paydays or pay weeks, 
you've got to know how to invert the business funnel and create what we call ABPs, advisory based products. Advisory based products are really cool. They are tools and systems like our consultative process, Carlos. It's a consultative process that's strategically created from the thousands of hours that we've put together to teach clients how to create a perfect message to market match, how to take their data, but how to do a consultation to get their ideal clients to want to self-select themselves into your highest end programs and services so that you can have these big paydays as, Tar as Carlos said. So you could start resting a lot, uh, a lot easier in the industry of selling high end and fulfilling on high end programs and services. So if you want to do that a lot easier, you want to know how to package your advice. You need to know how to present it so that you can uh, fulfill on it in a way that allows you to create what we call a lifestyle business. In order to have a lifestyle business, I want you to write this down. You want to focus on ROIT, return on invested time. And when you, when you focus on ROIT, it's literally just like our clients have, have found out this past week at our private intensive and our one-on-one -on -one clients, you're able to literally compress the sales cycle you're able to increase the amplitude of your advice and you're just a lot more powerful, which means you can rest a lot easier and you could do, Carlos, what we did, what I never dreamed of. Like I'm a former educator. I never dreamed of having billionaires coming to me, having venture capitalists, being asked by some of the top people in the industry of business growth today. And this is our specialty, business acceleration. But we take it, as Carlos and I have mentioned in the past, we take it from a unique perspective, amalgamating business acceleration with advanced training systems and that blend and putting those together in what we call ABPs, in like our consultative process or putting an assessment instrument together or using some of our tools and processes like build a killer coaching business from the stage that allows companies, <laughs> clients to you know, increase their financial power on live stages and virtual stages, Carlos. You know, I mean, and have the size, have the financial power like Carlos has. He's a big guy. And I'm falling off my chair here because I'm a small guy. No, you know, guys, this is so amazing, right? Nothing makes me so happy when I hear our clients calling us, oh my God, I just have a huge payday doing my one intensive. Or, oh my God, Carlos, I'm speaking with all those big timers on this multi-platform stage and I follow exactly what you and Glenn role play with me the day before the event, because again, we do, this is done with you, done with you, and they go on a stage with all those big timers, and they get a standing ovation. They're getting everybody in the room running towards them. Or if they share their number from the stage, the entire room taxing them to have more time with you. Because why? It's because they follow the strategies that we do. Like guys, you know what I mean? Like I've been in sales and marketing and training for the last 30 years, since I was seven years old selling bread, on the streets of Brazil to help my widow mother. But you know, to be like a speaker, only in the last couple of years that I became into this inspirational speaking realm. And nowadays, because the things that I learned from Glenn and the things that we are teaching our clients, now I, I share the stage with the big timers. Now, I, between so many speakers that are out there and they see me speaking, and now the other day, one of my dreams to us to be able to speak in Los Angeles. And At to, the? At the Oscars night at City Gala. You know what I mean? Because they saw me speaking. Because when you go on a stage, you are not there to pitch them. You are there to serve them. Oh, say it again, my brother. You are there to serve them. You are not there to pitch them. And every time I speak, I get a stay innovation because I deliver value. I focus on doing more to others than anybody else has ever done for themselves. I'm there that if I die tomorrow, I know that I am play all out that I gave my best to you. I want you to go home. I don't want you to come to, a, want, to a, go to an event as we call sit and get type of event. No, we want you to come and be transformed. I want, we want you to go back home. I want you to you know, go there and practice. We go back to this replay and watch this over and over and over again so that you be that person that go on that stage and then you get the call one day just like I got the call I wanted to be on the main stage on the Oscars night I wanted to come and, and close this big event for me a billionaire's coming I, can you please come in to my company and share your message to my employees Carlos so that they can elevate the customer service so that they can speed up and, and compress the sales cycle so that you can attract more clients if you want to attract more high-end 
high-end clients. Whatever is that fit your boat. If you have a nonprofit and you want to attract more corporations to you know, give you more money, whatever that is, you have to learn and master the strategies that we are talking about here. It's to building the right message to market match, to be indispensable, to be incomparable, to be indestructible by doing every single day what others don't do, can do, and we will not think of doing. It's just as Glenn talks over here in my mind, it's just, I'm just so grateful because it works. <laughs> what we are talking about here is real talk, things that we are doing right now, week after week after week. Like right now, we are here in the moment, speaking back to back for four days in San Francisco with billions and Ooh. billions of dollars around us, in the room with us in this past couple of days. <laughs> and you guys can do this as well. You can do it as well. If somebody growing up in the streets of Brazil, if a former teacher from Canada, eh, <laughs> can do this with no sales, no marketing, no background. Listen, I'm not even a great speaker. What we have are amazing systems. When you move from a goal approach to a systems approach, it's amazing what you can accomplish in today's market. Look at Carlos. Out of the blue, he is creating so much disruption in a live market. On stages, people are saying, where's Carlos coming from? Look what Co Tony Robbins has said to you already. You know, about there's nobody that can give him a run for his money but you, Carlos. Look at some of our clients. They're not even speakers at events, and they're cleaning up. Everybody's coming to them. Why? Because they know how to package, present, and profit from their advice, even if they're not a speaker. Isn't it, it, that so cool this, what's happening? This is so cool. And not only that, the other day in Los Angeles, we had five generations deep at oh. one event. This event was for high rollers, and we had five generations in this stage. I didn't know this. I did not know this, but Carlos came up to me, Glenn, do you realize we have five generations of clients? And he had to tell me, like, what yeah. did you tell me? And I said, <laughs> Glenn, out of the five generations on stage, three of us on the stage, and two in the audience, you know, because Glenn was in the audience, and one of the clients, clients, clients was in the audience. So we had five generations deep with three of us on the stage in this event in Los Angeles. And I was like, wow, you know, where did you go in an event for high players and high rollers and you have five generations deep, people that you mentor, people that you help. It's because the way how Glenn and I think, we think on a two, three layers deep. When I'm helping our clients, like I say, because we are building legacies here, not businesses, I'm thinking about the results that my clients are generating for their clients. Just think about this, right? You want to think about the results that your clients are generating for their clients. Because now you already know that your clients are going to be happy because they're going to be making more money. They're going to have this amazing lifestyle that we have where you work a couple of days a week and then you spend time with our beautiful wives and we take care of our children. We, we take them to have, a, to have fun. Like Glenn kids, they play, you know, uh, have a basketball, you know what I mean, in Toronto. And, and you know what I mean? So you'll be able to create the lifestyle that you want by walking your talk, by showcasing what you do, and then pretty soon, just like our clients, then you'll be on a stage, brand new speaker among all these other big players, and now you get on the stand innovation. Now you get the call to, you know, for somebody to pay you five, 10, 20, 30 grand to come in and do a keynote and speak for their corporation. Now they wanna spend more time with you because you deliver more value than any other speaker in the room. Because you are there to serve them, not to pitch them. We want to get you out of it, the sea of sameness. Very important. You don't want to be like everyone else out there. You want to apply those strategies. You want to be around the winners. Because if you're around the winners, it's no way you're going to lose. If you're playing with the Warriors right now, if you play with the Bulls back in the 90s, why did they win? Why did they have so many winners? And that's what we're doing. We're surrounded by winners. We have the best of the best in our board of, of, of advisors. The best of the best in our board of advisors. People in branding, e-commerce, you know what I mean? Finances, uh, you know, sales, marketing, leadership, putting keynotes and messages together. It's just very, very powerful. There's no way you're going to lose. The only way you're going to lose if you make it all about the money. If you make it about being significant. If you make it about, you know, becoming arrogant or being better than other people. But when you're focusing on serving, when you're focusing on the contribution, not the acquisition, when it's about the mission, not the commission, that's when the magic happens. Yeah, absolutely. And so my last recommendation for, for you uh, uh, that are watching this right now is to get really clear on your action steps and your outcomes. You see, if, you start, if you're honest with yourself and you look at where the results that you're getting right now from your business, where they are on that continuum of poor to superior, if you're really honest with yourself and 
We do this with, with every one of our clients. When it com comes time to honesty, Carlos, everybody realizes they're not really optimized. They're not getting what they really want. They're working too hard. And, and not that business isn't, it isn't easy. Um, it, business is very difficult. But by taking a more intelligent approach to business, you can make it a lot easier. And uh, so my recommendation right now is to start getting really clear on the action steps that you want to take. You know, we've talked about business acceleration quickly uh, and accelerated teaching and learning and, and mixing that together. All of you have heard of the Pareto optimism, uh, well, the Pareto principle, right? Uh, I'm getting, walking a little bit ahead of myself. That's about speed to market. And it's about resting in the fact that you don't have to be perfect. In fact, our clients love that you don't even have to be excellent or even great. You just have to be good. Why? Because the process, the system does the work for them. So I want you to think of the Pareto principle, right? The Pareto principle is that 80% of your results come down to 20% of your effort. 80%, the 80-20 rule, right? So let's write that down. Let's write down um, on a sheet of paper uh, or the same one that you've been using, uh, but write it down, the, the Pareto principle, the 80-20. I want you to write down output and input. Output, input. I want you to write down 80-20. What if you were to take the Pareto principle to a second level? So if you were to take the 80-20 rule, so multiply 80 by 80 and 20 by 20, what do you get? You get 64 and you get four. That means that 4% of your uh, effort is gonna produce 64% of your outcomes, the results that you're really after. And Carlos, if they do that one more level, like this is really cool, so I want you to do it, and I'm not that great in math, but I've done this already for you. So if we take 80 uh, times 64 and four times, uh, or 20% times four, what do we get? You get 51 and one. What am I saying? If you just focus on one key outcome and start looking at, or sorry, one key actionable step, focusing on the one key action step that's gonna give you 51% of your results. And you start looking at now, if you take this kind of aggressive approach and get rid of all the stuff that all your competitors are doing, as Carlos has mentioned, doing what others don't do, can't do, or wouldn't think of doing, and start taking a really aggressive a really concerted effort at not doing anything that your competitors are doing. Just focusing on those one action steps. They're gonna give you 51% of your results. Carlos, this is how you get to business acceleration. Because you start now lining up those one key action steps that are gonna produce 51% of your results. That's how you can grow 200%, 500%, 1500%, 2500%, ten thousand percent by understanding how to package your advice present it in a way that is consistent with who you are but taking a systems approach and it all starts by getting rid of anything today that's not going to truly give you true business acceleration that's going to at the end of the day upscale your financial power and increase the value of the advice that you bring to your marketplace so you're not doing anything that appears to be what your, comp your, your competitors are doing. And in fact, you're not doing what your competitors are doing. And in fact, you're gonna start doing what those that are really controlling marketplaces are focusing on in business. So powerful, guys. And like one thing that I always like to say from the stage, right? You wanna be like a postage stamp and you just stick to that one thing, like Glenn say, right? And you don't stop until you get to the end result. Because it's so powerful. Once you get clarity, now it's game over because now you are clear. Like, you know, you love this. This is not a job. Like, we love this. Glenn and I, we love helping companies and people around the world solving problems. It's late at night. We're both really <laughs> tired. My voice <laughs> is just about gone. You know? <laughs> it is just like we love because now that you love what you do and you have the clarity, you know what I mean? Because that's your passion. And it's very important that, you know, you got the purpose, right? That you're doing something that this is going to be a legacy that we, Glenn and I are building that's going to be beyond when we're no longer here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do, put a, a, anything that you're going to put it together, always do with the intent as a legacy piece. You know what I mean? Like, I grew up in Brazil, always hearing about my father. You know, he died young. He's only 23 years old. And before he died, I always hear about this guy, the stuff that people would tell me before, you know, when, as he was alive, the things that, the people that grew up with him, and they used to tell me, you know, where instead of, think about this, imagine, like, when I was, the, let's say, for example, if it's the weekend, and, you know, instead of him going to a birthday party or going to watch a football game or a soccer or a basketball, he would take that time 
I'm not saying every time that he did that, but many, many times he done that. And he would use that time and he would go around town to the trash cans, to the dumpsters, because people couldn't afford their babies. Because a lot of poverty in Brazil, a lot of violence. So he would go and he would pick it up, those babies and those kids, and he would take them to shelters. He would take them to churches. And he would teach them stuff. He would teach them how to read the books. He would read them the Bible. He would read them Think and Go Rich. He would read them all kinds of books that have been translated to Portuguese. And then not only that, he also would teach them how to play the aculele. He would teach them martial arts. And then the funnest part is he would go around town because he's, that he's always doing what others don't do, can't do, and won't think of doing. He was always focusing on, you know, how could accelerate the process to help more kids. And he would recruit other business owners and then to go and do the same thing. And they all came together as a movement, as a community, so they could help more kids. You know what I mean? Because now you're doing something that fires you up. It's your purpose. You know that you're not going to quit. You're going to go, as I always say, on a must mode. That's why it's so important that, you know what I mean, that when I feel tired, when I feel like giving up and I'm just like, you know, growing up in Brazil as a kid and going through all the torment that I went as a child, not wanting to live anymore because of the things that happened to me as a child and I don't want it to happen to no other kids in the world. That's why I'm so fired up about helping, you know, helping rescue little girls from sex trafficking, about helping feeding the, the hunger and eradicating about bringing amazing people together. Because if we can be behind you know, the, the influencers, celebrities, musicians, athletes, and teach them our systems, our, 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 and the things that we implement, now we'll be able to impact over a billion people in our lifetime. Now we'll be able to push them above and beyond their comfort zone. That's why it's so important that you get clear. You get clear at what you are doing. You align that with your purpose, and you, make your, you bulletproof your why. Now nothing can stop you, because now you're in a must mode. Now you're going to do whatever it takes. Now you're never going to stop because you just know it's not going to be easy, but it's possible. As my grandma used to read me, you know what I mean, below her hammock when I sleep in the floor, she said, greatness is within you, son. She used to tell me, Les Brown quotes, that you shoot for the moon and one day you're going to land among the stars. You stay hungry. And one day I had a chance to share stage with Les and, and talk about those elements. And him and I had a tear out of our eyes and it, because I didn't quit. Like I didn't quit. It took me 30 years to share a stage with Les Brown and Tony Robbins. 30 years to inspire the guys who inspired tens of millions around the world. Why? Because I was straight out of excuses. For me, this is a must mode. For me, I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to quit. I would go around the world and I would teach the community leaders in the third world countries to teach the little kids and keep an eye for the ones that are doing what others don't do, can't do, and won't think of doing. For the ones that whatever they're going to do from now on, they're going to be about being indispensable, being incompatible, being indestructible. Let's go out there and let's build legacies, not businesses. Let's go out there and focus on the contribution, not the acquisition. Stick with the mission, not the commission, and you watch the magic happen.